Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After Etc. and I am back with another resin project. So today I'm going to be showing you how to take this mold and make these adorable little resin postage stamps. So these are holiday themed. The one that's a square or rectangle, I guess, says North Pole Express and the round one says North Pole Express Delivery from Santa with love and it has a cute little reindeer on it. So I found these on Etsy. I will leave a link below, but I absolutely love how they turned out. I made this Santa Claus North Pole, this Dear Santa letter a few years ago, and it's probably my favorite sign for Christmas that I've ever made. I put it up every year and I really just, I don't know, maybe it's silly, but I wanted a whole display centered around it that kind of all made sense because the Merry Christmas resin sign I made to go with it last year worked really well, but then I just had a little bunny right here. The bunny did not work. <laughs> and so I moved the Merry Christmas sign to the other wall. I will leave a link for that below if you want to see it because it actually is really cute. But I found these online and so I was like, oh my God, resin postage stamps. We'll go with my postage stamp sign. It'll be great. And then I did make a mailbox. That's a whole other series of projects, but I'll leave those links below. So this is a very easy project, definitely beginner level. It doesn't have a lot of hoopla, <laughs> so it's simple to make. If you want to watch, I will show you all the steps and we're going to jump right into the video and make these little postage stamps. Let's go. All right, y'all. So we are going to get started. As you can see, I have quite a few projects out here. So when I pour resin, I like to be able to mix up quite a bit of resin, maybe in a couple colors. Today I'm doing iridescent and rose gold, and then pour a few projects at a time. That way I don't have to just do, you know, a couple, couple little bits of resin. So first we're just gonna go ahead and mix resin, and then we will jump into each project individually. So first things first, since I'm doing two different colors, going to go ahead and mix I think I'm thinking 300 milliliters and my big cup here so I'm gonna do 150 of a 150 of B and mix those thoroughly together once I get everything mixed up and ready to go we'll, we'll switch so make sure once you're actually working with the resin here that you have your gloves on and that you have your respirator on. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my respirator on and I'll, I'll try to put some instructions up here on the screen since you won't be able to hear me anymore. Thank you. 
All right, let's start demolding. These should be pretty easy to demold. They are just a circle and a postage stamp. Let's just hope we got all the bubbles. Oh, we did, that's pretty. It's nice and shiny. I'll probably try to put some paint across that so that you can read all these details. There's the other one, the North Pole Express. Those turn out really cute, you guys. So I'm definitely gonna make a sign out of these. I'm just trying to decide. I kinda wanna make a few more with this blush color. Yeah, it's almost the same color as this. We'll see. I'm gonna take them in. They're going with another set of signs. So I'm gonna go in and see if these are the right color or not. All right. All right, so we are gonna go ahead and add a layer of white on here, just like we did with the buttons. Oops, grabbing the wrong color. So all we're gonna do is put it on, make sure it's pressed down into those lines here. So see how that one just went over? Make sure it goes in. And we're just gonna wipe it with a paper towel. And that will leave the color in the depressions, but not on the surface. You can wait till the end and wipe everything, but sometimes it's easier this one has a lot and I need somewhere to hold. So I'm just gonna work our way around. Make sure if you're being messy with it, like I am, that you also clean off the side. North Pole Express from Santa with love. So cute. All right. We need a little more paint. So when I did this part, I did not get any paint on this side, whereas you saw I got quite a bit on these two sides. So I'm going to do the rest of the outside like this. See if that will save me a little heartache. Once the paint dries, sometimes I'll come back with a wet 
cloth and really wipe off those shiny parts, but for the most part, that looks perfect. You know, this rose gold kind of looks like gingerbread to me. It's like the perfect gingerbread color. Not what I was going for, but I like it. All right, y'all, I hope you liked this project. As you can see, I did make more of these guys because the rose gold that I used, to me, it ended up looking kind of like gingerbread and not rose gold, which actually was perfect for a friend's house. She did a lot of gingerbread this year, so I made her a little sign. But for me, I made some little pink signs and I embellished them with the same white. So I hope you liked this project. You can obviously display them however you like. I chose a few tree rings because honestly, that's what I had that I thought would be this appropriate scale. And I just painted them white so that they would really pop off the background. So if you have ide other ideas on how to display them, leave me a comment down below because I like this, but I'm not 100% sold. I may change it out for next year. And that's the fun part of resin is when you make it yourself, you can change it however you like it and display it however you like it. And it doesn't even have to be pink. Although I don't know why it wouldn't be pink. I guess a lot of people don't like pink for Christmas. I don't get these people. Anyways, if you want to see more projects, I am laying out a whole version of my Christmas decor, which is resin and Cricut projects all week leading up to the reveal of my total Christmas home tour. So if you want to see all of these projects, I'm going to be showing you how I made the mailbox, the resin nice list, the envelopes. I have some really cute hummingbirds and that I just made out of resin on this tree. I have some resin snowflakes. I have resin everything. So if you want to follow along, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, turn on notifications, and let's do this the right way. Bye y'all.